I'm Sarah Fox, the 500 Word Lawyer, and I really want your terms and conditions to help you do business. Well, they're not going to help you do business until anybody reads them. So today, do yourself a favour. Dig out the terms and conditions you sent to your last client and give them a read. How does it make you feel? <sighs> are they a bit long and boring? Or are they scary? Are they loyally? Are they friendly? Is there jargon in there you actually don't understand at all? You might have copied and pasted off the internet. Or maybe you've copied it off another contract. Or maybe a client, a lawyer gave you that information. If you don't understand your terms and conditions, you can't deal with queries that you get from clients. Now, most of your clients aren't going to read them, but if you come across someone like me, they are. So please, do yourself a favour, dig out your terms and conditions. Check that you understand all the words that are in there. And if you don't, get some help. Send me an email and I'll tell you how to write that in plain language. But please, make sure your terms and conditions can be read and understood by the people who matter most to you, and that's your clients. And if you're too close to them because you can't draft them lovingly and they're like a child to you, nah, maybe that's just lawyers. Anyway, if you are too close to them, get a friend to read them, someone whose advice you really, really trust. Ask them to read your terms and conditions and tell you what's wrong. Tell you what they don't understand. Tell them where it's clunky. And if you don't have a friend you can trust, send them to me, sarah at 500words.co.uk. I'll tell you where you can improve your terms and conditions very easily for very little money, but that will help you do more business. So that's my tip for today. Read your own terms and conditions. And if you don't want to read them, I think that tells you something just before you even start. Have fun.